So being design system experts, yesterday I did get this email, which says, my company and I are building a new design system and are curious about how to best create a type scale. I often find it challenging to pick the right fonts for web, mobile, so on and so forth. Any thoughts on best practice? So what I thought I would do is take two of the free courses that we have available on uicollective.co and combine them into one and upload here. So essentially what we're going to do is look at how to build uh, a proper type scale with proper size conventions for web, mobile, and some other uh, styles as well. So we're not really going to look at any of the color variants or variables, excuse me, or color styles today. We're really only going to focus on the sizing, how best to create a type scale uh, for your app, your design system, uh, or whatever it is that you need. With that said, I'll pass it over to Mike, who filmed this other one earlier on. Now that we've shown you how to create type styles, we'll show you how to create a type scale like this one. A type scale is a breakdown of your typography going from its small size to its larger size. Some brands choose to use one font for the entire type scale. Some choose to use one font for headings and one font for body. In this case, we'll just show you one font and we'll keep it nice and simple. So in setting up your font scale, we like to use a website called typescale.com. Here you can set your base font, which is often your body and is usually set to 16 pixels. This is equal to one rem. If this were 18 pixels, your base font would change and your one rem would change. So all fonts are based on your rem and then they are multiplied by your type scale. So we'll leave this at 16. And the next element you have is a dropdown of type scales. They have a nice preset group of type scales from minor second, major third, perfect fit, or you can even type in a custom ratio. Here you can select your font from a list of Google fonts, choose your weight, and even augment your type. In our case, we're going to use major third. And because we want an additional element on our type scale, so we have a larger H1, we can add type scale. And what you'll see is we take our one rem and we times it by our multiplier or scale, 1.25, and we get 20 pixels. When you multiply that by 1.25, you get 25 pixels, and so on and so forth. Let me show you how that translates into our Figma file. So here we have our body at 16, our callout and heading at 20. 16 and 20. They have their H5 in this case at 25. We have ours at 24. Now the reason we do this is because we are using a four pixel grid and we want our type to align to that four pixel grid. So we start to round up or round down the numbers accordingly. In this case we use 24 so we round down. The next one we chose 32 because it was quite close so we round it up. Then we chose 40 we round it up again. 48, we chose to round down. And 60, we chose to round down again. Again, it's up to you guys and the style and look and feel of your brand, but we find keeping a four pixel system or grid works really well for your type scale. And then you can choose whether you want to round up or round down. This allows us to set up a nice clean type scale. And then for the line height, we use a multiplier of four as well. So 24 over 20, 32 over 24 all the way up to 64 over 60. Now when you select your font, similar to the previous video, go over to your type palette on the right, hit type styles, hit add, and we can put in H1. It's really easy to add these now that we've created our type scale, H2. And you can do that all the way down the line. In the next video, we'll show you different organization structures. If you had, let's say, mobile heading sizes, or if you wanted a body bold or body link style. We've shown you how to create text styles and type scales. We'll show you how to create more advanced versions. So let's say you have your type scale here, but you have a different set for your heading for mobile. So we create a new set where we start at 48 instead of 64 and end at 16. So here we select our type and over on the text panel, we hit add. And instead of typing just H1, we'll type mobile slash H1. And what you'll see is it creates a folder structure on the right-hand side. 
So now we can select our other H1s and put them in a folder called Desktop. And if we want to, we can put both of these in a new folder called Headings. So now we have our Headings Desktop and our Headings Mobile in H1. Here, if we wanted to, we can make sure that all of our labels are correct and make sure it's a capital H1. Done. Let's show you another one. So now we can simply add another type scale and we can put in H2. And then you can just drag that style here and put it into the folder. Next, we'll show you how to create more advanced body versions. So let's say you had a body that you wanted to bold. So we select our body type and we select bold and create new style. And here we'll call it body. Better. And maybe we want to do a body that is a link. So we'll select the same body and we'll break it from its parent style and we will go regular. And then we'll add a declaration underlined and we'll call it body link add style body link and as you can see our styles continue to be created and if we wanted to stay organized as well we could put this in a folder and call it body i hope that helps me again. So if you're not in interested uh, in building out your own type scale, we do have our uicollective.co uh, design system now available for purchase, or we've done the hard work for you. I'll leave the link for that in the description. Hope to see you online, UI Collective.